every hour is a rush hour. And this basically describes the situation in Cairo streets. According to Egypt's official statistics agency, CapMass, Cairo is ranked the fourth worst city worldwide in terms of traffic congestion. There are over 5 million vehicles in Cairo, which means there are more than 15 million trips daily. Another problem is that most people driving here do not abide by driving rules and regulations because the traffic laws are not well implemented. Marwan works 12 hours a day at Uber to increase his revenue. He tells me the jammed streets affect his daily income as a driver. Any trip that usually takes half an hour, for example, I do it in an hour because of traffic. This means less trips a day, so less income. Traffic makes you arrive late to the client, which is not good for your performance report and bonuses. He is longing for a solution to this issue. They must construct new roads. This is the only way to be able to accustom all these cars. The infrastructure cannot keep up with the annual increase in vehicles. The World Bank estimates annual losses at nearly $3 billion because of the congested traffic. Egypt also has one of the highest rates of car accidents in Africa. The new draft law is much stricter than the one used now. The punishment in the law starts from hefty fines to confiscating vehicles or even jail sentences. Implementing the new law will be much more effective through the latest technological equipment being installed. Meanwhile, there are projects underway to update public transportation with new electric trains, buses, underground metro and new highways being built around the country. Traffic jams are caused by overpopulation. That's why there are hopes when millions of Egyptians start moving into the newly constructed administrative capital starting 2019, they will create some breathing space in Cairo streets. Yas Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.